Hey guys, I wanted <clears throat> I wanted to go over a, a a tip that a lot of guys overlook. And as a fishing guide, <clears throat> we're on the river a lot. We get to see the river what it does at all the different heights and levels, and and uh, how it changes the system. So, if you're a bank fisherman, and you know it goes for a boat too. Check out your river heights, okay? Look at your river level heights. And then when you go fishing and you remember or you, you catch a fish in that section of river, you'll know what height you fished it at, which moved a lot of fish into that section. So, because you'll go back and fish that section and it'll be a foot lower and you're wondering why you're not catching fish there because they haven't, you know, a lot of times they won't move into there until it's a foot higher. So, and your weight setups are going to change on different levels of the river, you know, and it's, this is kind of, we take it for granted as guides, you know, because we've done this our whole lives and, you know, as a new fisherman, you don't really understand this stuff until you've got a lot of time on the water. And, you know, it's like, you know, you can look at, you can look at the gauge and you're going to go, hey, I'm going to put in at this bridge and drift down to here because I know the water level is going to be my best opportunity for catching fish. Or, you know, instead of fighting low water and wondering why you're not into the fish, or you put in really high and you drift all the way down the river and don't really catch much until you get down to a section of river where there's more water because all of the feeder streams have came in, and then you start hitting fish. So remember that, you know, water heights, you know, in certain floats on the rivers, certain water conditions, your favorite hole, why it fishes better at this height or this height. And, you know, you happen to catch them in the tail out at this height and you go back and you want to fish that tail out, but it's not the same. So certain, you know, river conditions are going to hold fish in certain spots more consistent than others. You know, um, you can consistently look at broken water, you know, broken water a foot deep will hold a steelhead because they have cover and they can hide. Um, you know, a swirly rock, you know, is gonna be cover. It's gonna break the current so they can just maintain and not use energy. You know, look at, you know, look at your inside seams. You know, you'll see a deep green, you know, green, green water, green slots. That's where the water's deeper. Cast into those spots, cast above them, let it go into them and develop. You know, these little pockets and areas are gonna help you target fish. Um, you know, and, you know, like one thing, like when you walk up to the hole, don't just cast all the way across the entire run to hit a certain section that you've caught a fish on the far side. If there's water and the river's up, start in close. Fish that water all the way out to it, and you'll be surprised. You'll catch fish right at your feet. I see it all the time where guys are casting so far, and there's fish laying right at their feet, you know, that they're not even targeting. And that's how a lot of guys, you know, will stand back and see guys fishing watching where they're casting and step right in there a couple casts they hook a fish because they're paying attention to what where the water's doing and the way the currents land you know and where it moves the fish at every water height will move you know every foot will move the fish different so you know keep that in mind when you go to your favorite run and you know um remember to adjust your weight flows you know your split shot on your rigs whatever it takes to get that so your, your beads are working through the bottom and going over all the humps and going drop into the holes where the fish are instead of staying above them, you know, because you, you didn't add any more weight from the last time you fished and it was, it was low water. You're fishing the same setup because you caught a fish and that's, you know, instead of adapting and changing, you get stuck in that rut where you're thinking, hey, this is how I caught it, but you're going to have to add more weight because the flows are higher, you know. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, it's a little... You know, it's taken a lot of years to get that dialed, you know, and, you know, it's it's probably one of the most crucial things, you know, that can change your day. So just just, you know, let me give me some feedback, see what you guys think. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to go over that because it's really important. And um, especially if you're a new fisherman and you're you're struggling to catch fish, you know, and if you want to learn to run, book a trip with a guide. I mean, they're on it. We're on the rivers every day where we know where the fish are mostly at, you know what I'm saying? Or you're going to have a better opportunity 
And you're going to learn how to go down through the rocks in a drift boat. You're going to learn how to row a boat. You're going to learn how to set up for holes, you know, and what you should do to be safe. You know, it's the best money you ever spend in your life is to, to, to learn a system. Um, you know, unless you got a buddy, you know, go with a buddy, but just don't go blind drifting down a river because that's when accidents happen, you know, and it's, it's really good to build confidence. You see where fish are caught, you know, pay attention to where you're casting and say, Hey, cast over here, cast over here. We're telling you that for a reason because we've caught lots of fish there and lots of fish here, you know, and, and those will, and there is a lot of hidden structure structure that you don't see, you know, um, so, you know, just a little two cents. Um, hopefully that helps you be successful, you know. So, tight lines, guys. Randy Leward, LewardGuideService.com or Leward by the Bead. Tight lines.